Hey everybody, it's Party Elite, welcome you back to another episode of our Age of Wonders Planetfall Let's Play as the Assembly with Party 1337. Going to be a good episode, this one I think, as we, uh, well, we fix some mistakes we made early on and we move forward with potentially going to war against the Paragon faction over here. We've got Frank Vance encroaching on our territory, a little too close for comfort. Uh, so I think uh, between this one settlement and this second settlement, I don't think they have a third, we should be able to wipe them out pretty easily. What I might consider doing is I might consider bringing this army back home. Many of you have suggested that I'm taking one of my more high tier starting armies and just ambling about with it. You're very much right. Uh, they aren't my highest tier army anymore, though I do need to get some upgraded units in here. And uh, some of you were also suggesting that I should split this army up to scout a little bit faster. And that is something that uh, maybe I should have done right at the beginning. Uh, right now, though, it's a little too late. And the other thing is that the reason why I didn't do it is because a lot of interesting, rather, a lot of points of interest have uh, garrisons of, you know, four plus marauders or whatever, so going in with a single unit or a pair of units it doesn't necessarily work out, which is why I wasn't doing it. But we are going to go ahead and teleport through here, uh, down to here, and from there down to... I'm trying to remember the path I took. Uh, I gotta go over, I think. Um, hold on now. Uh, to here, I think, and then that'll take us down to here, and then from down here, we have to go all the way up to... Uh, oh, can't remember. Nonetheless, we got to get all the way back to here so we can teleport back to here. It's a long way uh, back up to here. Sorry, it's a long way, but we got to get that army back and use it more offensively. Now, for this war itself, we've got one stack and another half stack over here. It's about to receive a Vorpal Sniper in a few turns. Uh, so, you know, it, it'll get a little bit stronger and then we'll recruit another unit. Make this a full stack, two full stacks against the enemy. I think we'll be fine. Uh, apart from that, one more thing to mention is that uh, many of you have pointed out I can just talk to the Autonom faction and get them to move. You're absolutely right. Just want to mention a lot of the times when uh, recording and playing at the same time, some little things that were obvious when I was playing on my own suddenly slipped through the cracks. It, it's something I've been trying to improve and, and work on fixing uh, as a you know as a as a content creator, I guess, or as, just as a human being, I suppose. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's definitely a, a fatal flaw of mine. So thank you for pointing this kind of stuff out. I always appreciate it. I always appreciate uh, the comments, just kind of giving me suggestions or thoughts. Yeah, that's the kind of place I, I like to. That's the kind of space I like to make. Uh, on which note, I want to mention, if you've been enjoying the series, do not hesitate to let me know. Leave a like and a comment down below. It really helps me make some uh, important decisions as far as content on the channel goes. And I look at those likes and comments to decide what to do more or less of on the channel. Uh, now, uh, another suggestion that was made was with regards to After Party and its happiness issue. I also love the fact that, yes, the After Party is where everyone's sad because the party is over. Uh, but yes, w we could increase the number of colonists working on happiness, but as you can see, that does next to nothing. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and enact martial law over here. Uh, yes, it hurts our productivity a little bit, but it neutralizes the unhappiness. Uh which I'm fine with for now, and we are going to change our research. I did, in fact, skip past uh, environmental conditioning, which gives us botanical gardens. Completely skip past that. So rather than go for colonist care, which would take us another 14 turns, we're going to pull back, we're going to do environmental conditioning. It'll be seven turns. Not only does it allow us to uh, increase happiness through the botanical gardens, but it also allows us to remove hazards. Now, hazards don't include, unless I'm horribly mistaken, the fact that this is volcanic... Uh, territories, but it does help us remove things like the uh, Abyssal Tear over here and other such things, so it'll be quite helpful, uh, and it'll arrive in seven turns. We can deal with happiness over here, hopefully it's a bit of a problem. We need to do something about that, for sure. At least we're going to solve our energy situation. Uh, decent income already, but we're bumping it up a little bit more. After Party has an unexploded sector, that's the green light district, we will focus on that later. We do have the ruins here, so we do want to make our way towards ruins exploitation so we can take advantage of that. Um, but yeah, apart from that, we're going to ask for these guys to leave this session. Uh, we won't ask these guys to leave because Party Town isn't able to uh, expand just yet, it'll be a few more turns until we, uh, we have room for another colonist. I could change our focus a little bit, reduce our happiness. Well, I don't want to do that. Focus more on food. Okay. You know what? Let's just, let's just 
Let's just leave it be before we break everything. Before we break everything. Let's just leave it be. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. I'll, I might might get into micromanaging that kind of stuff later. All right, I believe that's the turn, though. So let's go ahead and uh, hit that end turn button. See what the AI does here. Nothing too crazy, I imagine. Message from the Autonom faction. Okay, I'll take a look at that in a second. First things first, we're going to go ahead and get you down over here to ask these guys to leave. We've got the teleportation station up over here that we can use. Uh, I believe that this had better be the one that takes me to... Yes, okay, excellent. And next turn, we'll ask them to leave. That'll help with our Cosmic production. Because again, because this is occupied, we're not actually getting the benefits of it. Uh, apart from that, up over here, we're going to move up towards that. So let's go ahead and shift on up. Yeah, it's a three stack, so that shouldn't be a problem. Message from the Autonom faction. Ghost in the machine. Entity known as Paragon. Wish to return core Paragon. See the ghost of core in Autonom. Destroy cult of core, yes or no? Not sure what you're going on about, but six units. Okay, so it is a full stack, I guess. Uh, I think we can do it. I think we can do it. Let's go ahead and accept this. We're right there. So might as well, right? Let's go ahead and pull on through. If I visit this. Uh, increased accuracy. All right, cool. Yeah, let's go ahead and pass through that then. Might as well. Beautiful. Might as well take advantage of that. Over here. Ooh, they overpower us. Their army power is 970. Ours is 841. They outnumber us, of course. This is scary. And they're all modified as well. They've all got mods. All right, it's going to be a challenge, but I think uh, I think we can take it on. And it looks like we have got Vision of Darkness ready to go as well. So we should be able to hit these guys, suffer 20% damage and negative 400 morale for two turns. So we will do that next turn when we're close enough to uh, Operations primed and ready. actually strike them. That sounds good to me. I was ready to launch. Yep. And what is this? Nikhail publicly complimented me. I love a good compliment. Incoming communication. Hello, Party1337. I'm glad to hear from you again. I admire your empire and foresee great prosperity from a continued and flourishing friendship between us. I wouldn't mind that, maybe. Maybe it's not such a bad idea to be a bit more friendly with these folks. Uh, that's the turn, though. Indeed it is. Alright. What do we got going on over here? So here we have finished the, uh, the wind farms, so that's good and helpful. Helps our financial situation, so to speak. Let's go ahead and maybe work on I wonder if we work on the mountain sector upgrade because that will affect one sector and it'll increase how much production we get out of it and that is sort of what we need to do I think I think that's what we need to do because otherwise everything oh, like you can see it takes six turns three turns for a skirmisher barracks like yeah let's get that going we got to fix the production situation over here urgently you, let's go ahead and communicate with these guys. We've got enough influence. We should be able to ask them to leave. Let's move on up. 49 influence. It's not that bad. We require this location. Please evacuate. We shall vacate this area. Part 2, 1, 3, 3, 7. Thank you very much. A little reward as well as, as you can see, a little bump in our cosmic production. Excellent. We're going to pull back down south. We'll use a teleporter to get us back up north as well. Good stuff. Orders required over here. We'll dive on in. I, You know, I could fight this one. 3v4. Um, might be able to just roll them. You know, let's fight it. Let's fight it. I, I, I'd I, like to just kind of experiment with the uh, Lightning Riders a bit more and stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and, and dive on in on this one. I hope you guys don't mind. I, I, I try to auto-resolve the ones that are going to be too simple. And I feel like this one's probably going to be quick. But just want to test some stuff out, I guess. Half the fun with these kinds of games, isn't it? When you get to mod your units and test them out. All right, let's go ahead and... Damn it, they haven't clumped together. It's nice when they clump together and I can use the Arc Strike. All right, it's fine. We're going to go ahead and get you posted up over here, I think. Overwatch. Yeah, let's get you up over here. Get you overwatching in this area. So, looks like this unit is planning on coming around the flank down this way, which is fine. We'll move our shotguns, and you guys are very much right. I should be using my shotguns more than I have been doing. Uh, I always rely on the claws because I think about the assimilation and closing the gap and the overwatch benefits that it gives us. But the shotgun is more efficient when it lands. Okay, that's that. Let's go ahead and move. Now, here's what we're going to try. With these two uh, lightning riders, we're going to use uh, the arc charge. 
charge the craft's internal capacitors, causing its attacks to stagger targets and do 50% extra damage until the end of its next turn. So if we move on up to, say, here, and get that going, the next turn we should be able to get closer to, say, these guys and fire away, or maybe we push up to... Hmm. I wonder what gets us closer. Fine, let's push up to here. Right? And uh, get the arc charge going. Love little... I really, I'm actually a really big fan of uh, of this model. Those of you that have followed me through my uh, Warhammer days and stuff know that I really like the Necrons, and this is very reminiscent of that. Uh, except for the blue instead of green, I guess. Though, th <gasps> I just realized this is the color scheme I wanted to paint my Necrons all along. Holy crap, I just realized. Maybe that's what drew me to these guys. Anyway, sorry, back on topic. Uh, what was I saying? Well, let's go ahead and move you up as well, perhaps over here. Hover over top of that and get this activated for you as well. Yeah, I'm a fan of the uh, VFX and stuff. Turn. Nicely done. The sound and visuals. So you're going to fire up over here. Missed. Oh, that grazed a little bit. Not the end of the world. You're going to try the same. You're going to miss. 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 Nice. And last one comes through. Oh. Got a little bit of damage in there. Missed the second shot. Okay, this battle's gonna be a lot easier than I expected. Sorry, folks. <laughs> Not what I had in mind. Uh, we'll go ahead and move you up to... Well, actually, first, let's go ahead and focus over here. Can I drop this over here? Do 11 damage and stagger both of them. Or... 21 damage and potentially destroy one. Hmm. Well, 11 times... Two, I guess, because I can bring this one in to do the same from over here. That's 22 on one of them. Let's just fire regular shots, I think. Might want to move you up a little bit. Not have the best shots. Get you up to there. Higher chance of hitting is probably not a bad idea. Get you up to there. Far away. Okay, good stuff. And with you... Go ahead and move you up to... Say here. Do I spread the love or do I stay focused? I could use Embrace of Darkness to maybe finish this thing off. Yeah, I could. So let's go ahead and spread this love a little bit. The Embrace of Darkness just cost us a little bit of credits. Wow, that was a waste. That did not go as smoothly as I had expected. Go ahead and drop this on you. Enemy kill. God, I love side number effects. Even the sound, the bassiness of that is just like spot on. Big fan. Hey, let's go ahead and move you up to here. You get clear shots up there. Far away. Nice. And one more. Beautiful. Get you up to, say, over here. We'll get the shotgun shot in there. <laughs> Very nice. I was like, let's hope for a hit here, and they did deliver. All right, that's the turn. Gonna pull back, turn around, and fire, I assume. Yeah, that's fine. Not that bad. Not that dangerous. We'll probably go into melee next turn just to assimilate a little bit and heal up. We're gonna move up over here and fire where? Ooh. Ooh, that's not good. I don't like that. Rude. Okay, let's get you up over here. Come on. Enemy annihilated. Oh, right. Can't assimilate off these guys. Damn. Well, either way, we got them. We wrecked them, so it's fine. Okay, fire our way down over here. Good stuff. These poor guys took a lot of damage there. But you come in. Killing blow. Nicely Enemy done. Destroyed. That was a lot easier than I Our forces are victorious. had anticipated, I suppose. Good stuff. Got a little bit of research there. Ooh, fish in a vat. Inside the vessel, you find a psi fish unit, a hunter, trapped in a glass vat, unconscious. According to the ship's remaining logs, the machinery that is attached to the vat has the following functions. I can either imprint it to release the hunter under my command, I can dissect it to study it and gain some knowledge, or I can flush it, free it to the wild, and increase my reputation. See, the hunter, if I'm, yeah, that's an interesting, interesting unit here. 
It's got devouring tendrils. It's a psi, like it's a psionic being. Captivating bond is pretty interesting as well. Bond with target enemy, making it unable to move or use actions. You need to stagger. The bond will be broken and the effect will end. You, on the one hand, ooh, arc status effect immunity by a couple of status effect immunity. This is a pretty solid unit. Um, on the one hand, I, I wouldn't mind dissecting it, right? Because we're kind of knowledge based. But at the same time, because we're Psy Numbra, if we weren't Psy Numbra, easy decision, dissect. But because we're Psy Numbra, I can sort of see the logic of keeping this on with us to study how it works and how it uses our secret technology uh, and then try to enhance ourselves by watching it as opposed to ripping it apart. That is a hard choice, actually, but I think we'll go with uh, releasing it and bringing it under our command. So you are able to actually float across the water, pick up some stuff for us. Well, maybe, maybe we do that real quick before we regroup, because we have to regroup next turn when that Vorpal Sniper gets done. So let's go ahead and pull you up here. Please be empty. Oh, of course not. I was hoping. I was, uh, <laughs> I was foolishly hoping. Yeah, that's fine. Orders required over here. We can pull you back a little bit. So we'll regroup somewhere over here and then push over to the borders. Uh, orders required over here. We'll dive into that. But first, let's see. Relationship with the assembly has changed to accepted. Cool. And then we've got ops ready to launch. Ellen Shaw sent a message. Incoming communication. We can become close comrades, Party 1337. Let us continue to form stronger bonds between our people. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Sounds good. Okay. I think we're ready to dive in on this, but first, let's go ahead and bring down the Vision of Darkness, right? Launch that onto you. Uh, it should reduce their health and their morale for two turns. Worst case scenario, it only does damage. I'll take that as well. There we go. Looks like we were successful. Your Cabal has successfully channeled psionic energy from the Abyss upon the target army, and they have suffered significant losses in both manpower and morale. Beautiful. Yeah, see, they're all a little bit hurt. Their army power has been brought down as well. And just like that, we now overpower them. We're going to roll them, I think. I hope. Still want to fight this. Still very close. Still want to fight this. But uh, I just like how this game integrates those uh, strategic level things with the tactical combat. Uh, I'm a big fan of this game. And if you haven't seen my review, check it out. It's funny, I'm, I'm starting to get those comments which are just like, Oh, this just sounds like it's been paid for. It's just like, no, I, <laughs> I'm i allowed to like things. I enjoy this game thoroughly. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a lot of fun. I love those little things that they, they do with this game. Very well done, I think. Okay. Let's see, we can get our sniper. Oh, hold on, hold on. Let's see, what, what have we got here? We've got this explosive vehicle over here. If we can draw, if we can funnel some of their melee troops, because they do have a couple of melee troops, you... You and you, I believe, are all melee. They're all modded as well. If we can get them to clump around this thing, that would be great for us. Mm. I wonder if we... I wonder if we send... Okay, let's send you up here. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and overwatch in this general direction. We're going to go ahead and send you up over... Here and overwatch in this direction, I think. Let's see. Trying this. Okay, just to get some coverage. Uh, our scavenger over here with the shotgun and the uh, claws and all, we could send up a touch. Got another one back over here that we can send maybe around for a flanking opportunity. Like send it real wide out to kind of draw some aggro this way, maybe. We could try that. Sure, let's go ahead and pull this unit down this way. Go. Got cover. We'll face that way. We'll see if anything turns our way and tries to attack us. Okay, good stuff. Uh, you. You, you, you. What do we do with you? I could push you up here. Get you in a position to stay safe from every angle that isn't this angle, but they could all head that way. In fact, this might draw them that way, in which case my overwatch should cause them trouble. A little bit of a sacrificial unit over here. Let's try it. I'll get you over there. Get you into defense mode. Yep. And with you, I can, in fact, step you over this way and then overwatch this way as well. Right. 
Mm. Just step closer. <laughs> Just step closer. It's okay. There. Do that. End the turn there. Let's see what they do. And we will have operations available as well. Just the one, though, unfortunately. Oh, I shouldn't have wasted. Okay. Paying the price for my impatience. Ooh, nice. That's a critical failure. That's our side number activity coming into action over here. Okay, you've overcharged these guys. Fair enough. I'm gonna come through into my... Nope. Overwatch? Yes, no? Nah. I'm guessing it's their distracting pheromones. I find that so funny. Because the, these are... Uh, they're, like, they're like pleasure bots, I guess, is the best way to put it. We're gonna fire over here. Unfortunately, no overwatch triggering. Okay. They haven't taken the exact approach I was hoping for. We're fine. Haven't died yet. Operations oh, wow. Available. Okay, they didn't take the approach I was hoping for at all. But it's okay, it's okay. Um, you're able to fire down over here. Reactive shielding is going to be annoying. It triggers when you attack from range, and it gives them one shield uh, for a turn, and it stacks as well. Okay, let's see, let's see. We can fire over here. 75% hit chances, and it's not bad. Let's go ahead and do that. Keep our safe distance. Fire away. Nice. Nice. And... Okay. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. From here, our shotgun can fire over here and eliminate them. 70% hit chance as well. Not too shabby. Do it. Nice. A waste of a crit. But I'll take it. Uh, we can shift over a step and get some shots in. I want to try and eliminate these guys because they are... Uh, they're, they're, they're a support class. Overdrive over here is a problem. As you can see, hack into target Paragon unit with Imperial Augments, causing them to overcharge, granting them new abilities, increase damage, and change their kinetic attacks to arc for two turns. And then the activate phase augment allows them to teleport around. So, you know, I don't really, don't really like that unit as something to be up against. Over here, we could shift you up. Let me bait it into my own trap over here. Not much else I can do. How bad could it be? How bad could this little explosion be, right? Imperial War Monument. Oh, oh, that's just our hit chance increase. <laughs> this isn't a war monument. It's a car. Yeah, we can come up to here and open shots at these guys, maybe. Well, let's do it. Worth the risk, I think. Oof. Get the bleeding going up there. Sure. Let's try it. Come on, baby. Good stuff. That was, that was solid, actually. These guys could actually roll up and get some shotgun shots into their sides and eliminate them. I think we'll try that. Let's go ahead and pull you up to... Let's see. If we go up to here... Shotgun is what distance? Five. So one, two, three, four... Yeah, so we can actually pull up to here and fire. With a shotgun. The bleeding should wipe them out. The bleeding should wipe them out, actually. Five damage every turn. Yeah. The bleeding will wipe them out. So, you know what? Let's go ahead and get the shotgun shot. Down here instead. Nice! Excellent. And so now, with our sniper, we can step out and fire at whatever we choose, really. Step out and forward. Right, just a step so it doesn't take any action points. Well, let's see. You're bleeding. You're going to die out. You are going to survive, unfortunately. I could fire. This is a dangerous unit as well. These two are kind of scary. Let's go ahead and fire at the vehicle. Because it does worry me. Fire away. Come on. Come on. Nice. Nice. And to top it off, we could get... We've got the signal shredding. Um, I don't think it's worth it. I could pop the signal shredding on that, or the Embrace of Darkness we can drop. A couple different units here. Wouldn't eliminate anything. Get that Broken Mind going. Reduce their uh, abilities even more. You know what, let's, I think, if we drop it on these guys, I would just reduce their shots. I'm trying to find something that has a three level, like a, a three tick 
For example, the laser burst. Here, we'll drop it on you. At which point do we drop the signal shredding instead for a chance to stun? Sure, signal shredding. Doesn't do damage. Sorry. I, this is where I have the hardest time. Let's just cause damage as well. Here we go. Broken Mind was resisted, but it's okay. We've got enough morale damage in here already. You're gonna roll up. You're gonna try to get some shots in. Oh, crit fail. Nice. Very nice. You're gonna fire, and then you're gonna die, right? And then bleed and die. A little bit of damage taken. Not the end of the world. Plus, I've horribly misremembered how bleeding works. This is a problem. I'm gonna just get one stab in, though, I think. Yeah. We'll be able to focus them down. You're gonna come through for here. Fair enough. You're gonna punch. We're gonna trigger Overwatch. We're gonna assimilate. It staggered us. You're gonna teleport. Okay. Mm, not a big fan of this situation. Not a big fan of the situation at all. We might want to pull back from there. Enemy there we kill. go. There's the bleeding. <laughs> okay. Need to figure this out. This is almost dead. Anything can destroy that, really. No matter of what we what we let destroy it. Uh, you could use Devour Hope on these guys to try and heal up a little bit. Okay. Might not be a terrible idea. Flanked. Arc Retaliation Defense. I could fire instead. They'll be flanked as well. I could move up to here, fire into their back, have them face that way, and then the sniper could finish them off. Try that, I think. Okay, let's move you up to here. Shotgun into your back. Crit. <laughs> we like flung that dude against the car and he bounced back. That was hilarious. <laughs> oh, oh my god damn it. We can't actually finish them off with sniper. It's okay. We could get up to here and fire. Um, we're worried about this thing surviving, unfortunately. Uh, and you could fire up there. Okay, sure. So here's what we'll do. We'll go ahead and get you up to here to fire, so you're protected at least from that. Right? Bring you around and fire this way. Come on. Almost dead. Which is not dead, which is a problem here. Well, let's turn you around and fire over here as well. Unfortunately, feels a little wasteful, but... Oh, thank God. Enemy kill. I was worried about that. Alright, you are able to pull back. I wonder if we should get back into safety, because this guy can fire. Up to here, okay. I can move as well, of course. And I could use the um, Devour Hope. Try and heal up a little bit. Eight times three, twenty-four. They couldn't kill us unless this thing turns around and fires at us as well. We'll just barely survive. These guys down over here, I think we'll be okay. Fine, you know, let's go ahead and destroy this thing so it's not able to get any damage done, and the next turn we'll focus on these guys. What are the chances that they'll eliminate us, right? What are the chances? I could pull back a step and still get shots in up here. So fine, let's do that. Let's go ahead and pull back a step. Fire up over here. Nice. Enemy down. Mark the Dark Sun. Good stuff. Let's go ahead and get our... Uh, the shotgun does what? Hmm, okay. Boss, let's assimilate. Use the health bump. Okay, good stuff. Next turn, they'll attack us. We'll, uh, we'll... What's the word I'm looking for? Trigger Overwatch. We'll be fine. Come on now. There you go. Ah, Overwatch cancelled. Here come the shots. Graze, graze. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I got all their hits in. Okay, well, first things first. Let's go ahead and use uh, Devour Hope. Just might as well heal up a little bit on the battlefield because we can. Use those side number abilities. There you go. Healed on up, and you... 
need a touch of healing, so I guess we could go on into melee. Should have shot at them first. Ooh, there's the crit. Nice. Beautiful. Enemy annihilated. Ooh, hello. <laughs> Wish I could actually use the Echo of Despair, but... <laughs> Alas, this battle is over. Enemy Down they eliminated. go. All right. Our forces All right. Are I was a little nervous about that fight going into it. We were uh, outmatched a little bit. Well, in numbers. We weren't outclassed, though. Collected a fair bit of knowledge. Objective completed. Completed this objective as well. Beautiful. Take the reward. And uh, Accursed Gifts has been researched, so that's good and helpful. Next turn, we can teleport you down. Uh, I'll try to launch. The Vorper Production Sniper is ready. out. Go ahead and get you. I'm wondering if I ask these folks to leave. Because we're right here, right now. I'd have to go there anyway if I wanted to annex the territory, so fine. Let's go ahead and move up to here. Get you. Oh, wow, that's the same turn, right? Uh, okay, fair enough. So we'll regroup over there. Party Town, what do we make over here? So this army is going to be topped up now. So maybe we can take a look at some other construction opportunities. Uh, the mountain sector's upgrade is probably not a bad idea. It helps two sectors, increase the, increases the production output. Yeah, sure, let's do that. Let's do that. This is also something I want to maybe take a look at. Military infrastructure. But no, let's start with the uh, mountain sector upgrades. Three turns, not that long. Regroup these three, and we'll move through. All right, what's up? So this avert your eyes before my dark icon. It is lodged in your sanity. Your succulent shame binds you to languish in bondage to my cravings. Try as you might to hide your secret sins. They brand you my possession. Givori of House Ardeli. I love the the voices for, for, for these for sign number stuff. Sounds like dirty in the right way. <laughs> uh, consuming gaze. This unit channels dark psionic energy through its eyes, dealing damage to target enemy units and healing the caster for 20. It bypasses all armor. Uh, broken mind, chan a chance to apply broken mind to non-mindless for three turns and a cooldown as well. Uh, while causing damage. So this is this is what I was kind of chasing after with this technology. Dark icon target friendly unit is shrouded in shadows for three turns. Any enemy unit within one hex of the targeted unit gains haunting melody, lowering all resistances and accuracy. Any friendly unit within the hex gets dark elation, giving morale and psi resistance. And then the gift of oblivion is a tactical operation, which gives us the spirit of oblivion for three turns, giving us psionic drain on attacks and a damage boost of 25%. So pretty solid. Uh, real big fan of the uh, the Sinumbra stuff, but I think we need to step away from it now and do a little bit more of our, you know, robotic inclinations. Uh, reprocess colonist. Uh, no, 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 no. Sample collection. Damages all units in the target army for 20% of their current health. Reduces all resistances for this round, but provides 3 to 5 research for every unit damaged this way. It's not bad. Not bad. It's a good way to, like, research faster, I suppose. Sacrifice our own troops to research uh, aquatic lightning coils allows us to go into the water, which is maybe not a bad idea. I do need to consider our water bases and stuff as well. There's a lot of water around us. Uh, there is a lot of water around us. We do also have over here deploy constrictor. Oh yeah, that's the, that's the tactical uh, thing. Uh, cloaking implants. Universal camouflage on the world map and evasion defense mode. It becomes 40% harder to hit with all overwatch attacks gives us plus one armor as well. Cloaking implant sounds interesting. Up over here, destructive means is something I was talking about earlier because we have the wrecker available up there. I just want to make sure I don't miss anything that uh, might be a good thing to pick up right now. Shields as a defensive mod is also not a bad idea. Whenever this unit is damaged by an enemy unit within two hexes, that unit has a four strength chance to becoming stunned and receives six arc damage. That sounds pretty cool. But to get that, we have to go ahead and get the magnetic energy storage first. Do like that. Do like the way the way this looks. At the same time, the wrecker is awesome. That's actually a heavy hitter. Which uh which I don't have much of actually. 
Now it's a melee heavy hitter, so if I do go ahead and get one of these and I get it the uh, shields and whatnot, it'll be pretty impressive, I think. Let's go ahead and start with this. Three turns, it'll be quick. Both of our researches will be done at the same time. It'll be good. It'll be good. And that is our turn. That was a long turn. Battles to fight and stuff, I guess. Right, Autonom Faction Demand. They need to stop with that. Uh, tribute required. Material known as Cosmite. If Party 1337 wishes to maintain order, offer Cosmite. We've got a lot of it, so I'll accept the demand this time. We'll make it back in no time. Do quest instead. Hmm. Sure, let's do a quest instead. I like quests. Autonom. Autonomous. Party 1337. Free. Help us understand free will. Database limited. Help us understand self-determination. Database limited. Does it exist in carbon-based creatures? Can it exist in artificial entities? Help us with research into free will. Yes or no. Well, I have to. In 10 turns, I need to get free will doctrines research. Accepting this quest will automatically start the research. A demand quest yield no rewards. Mm, unfortunately, that's a bit of a... Bit of a bummer. We're going to stick with environmental conditioning for now. Two turns, and then we'll do their special research. It'll take me seven turns to do. Yeah, yeah. Got enough wiggle room there. I got enough wiggle room. Okay. We're doing the mountain exploitation. Good stuff. Let's go ahead and get you guys grouped up. Over here, I suppose. Common ground. There we go. And yet another full stack. Cool. Alright, that's you. Ops ready to prime. Operations primed and ready. Go ahead and prime you. You were quite helpful there. Orders required over here. Let's teleport you back up north, I think. No reason to stay down here. Oh, there is a little something over here. Let's check that out and then make our way up north. We can eliminate the hopperhound nest over here as well. Yeah, do that. Up over here, orders required. Really want to know... Oh, that's in the middle of the water. Fine. Go ahead and take this to teleport down. This... Takes us further away, so no thank you. Head home. Let's head home. Gotta go... Where? Oh, have you blocked me off? Is this the teleporter I need? Yes, it is. Other options to head... This way directly, but... How many turns will that take? Four. Three. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. And we might find some other stuff along the way. Uh, no. It's okay. Thank you. Alright, that's the turn, I believe. Ooh, Frank denounced Ellen. Ellen Shaw has insulted my empire. Because your empire deserves insulting. Greetings, Party 1327. Uh, some information on Ellen Shaw that may be valuable to you. Ellen Shaw has insulted my empire. Ellen Shaw might do this again. and is not to be trusted. Listen, man, with punctuation like that, you're not to be trusted. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to join my assembly. I'm going to assemble with the assembly. Assemble the assembly in insulting these guys. They get a Cassus Belly against us. Cost us a little bit of influence, but we got lots of it. You'll need to rethink this relation of ours, Party 1337. Ha! You think your petty insults mean anything to me? If nothing else, this just gives me more reason to use that new devastating weapon I've been developing. <laughs> oh, it's cartoonish. Okay there, buddy. Fight me, I dare you. Okay, good stuff. You are able to move up over here. We should be able to auto-resolve this. I don't think we have to fight this one. Yeah, we can auto-combat auto this. Good stuff. Leveling up. Get a little bit of knowledge. Ooh, old jetpack. Gives us the jetpack jump. The defensive mod. Okay. Can be applied to infantry hero units. Alright, Hopperhound Manhunter. Interesting little addition to our collection, I suppose. I could sell all this and just get energy instead. Um, but the food does sound like a good idea. Go ahead and take the reward. This is our new friend. I mean... Sure, why not? Send you down over here. Imperial production stash gives us some uh, production material. Good stuff. Probably goes to after party, yeah. I don't mind that. And we'll free this up as well. It's a research station. 
we'll want to annex this next anyway. It'll be a while before we can annex it. Hang on now. What's, what the hell? What? Oh, no. Mar Martial law. Stop it. This is a problem, folks. It's getting worse and worse. But, I wonder if... Swap our construction. Six turns to get this done. It's certainly more urgent. I mean, if I turn off martial law, it'll be five turns. But that unhappiness is a serious problem. For one turn, I don't think it's worth it. Unhappiness and after party unrest. 1% have become rioters. They cannot be moved from this thought and no longer produce resources. Increase your colony happiness or turn them back to normal colonists or activate martial law. I mean, yes, we've done martial law. I received a proposal from Ellen Shaw. Mm, they want energy. They'll give me contact info. I don't want to speak to this syndicate commander. No, I am okay. Can I just cancel it? It's weird. I can't decline it without upsetting them. Frank denounced me. Oh, how dare you? How could you? Let it all be known. Let it be known to all. Party one through seven has insulted my empire. We abhor your actions. Consider yourself warned. Next time, I might not be so forgiving. Declare war with a minor cast a spell. I could do that. I mean, not just yet. We gotta get in a position. Gotta move on up, and uh, and then we'll roll them. Yeah, 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 it shouldn't be a problem. Magnetic energy storage has been completed. One of my regulars, a scientist developing arc weaponry. Okay, uh, and we'll go ahead and get the electron impact over here. I do want to get those shields, and then we can take a look at destructive mean. That's what I was thinking. Hmm. Yeah, let's stick with that. Stick with the original plan. And keep changing my plans around like this. All right, do we hop on back to colonist care, or do we do ruins exploitation? Because we do have a couple of ruins that we can take advantage of. Colonist care will, of course, help us with the uh, happiness situation. Or actually, wait, hold on a second before I forget. Free will doctrines. Gotta do that. Gotta do that before we run out of time. We, we've got some time, but let's stay focused here. Environmental conditioning, yep. It's important to imagine. Yeah, thank you. I guess I have to address this proposal, don't I? Nikhail Gorodin sent a message. Incoming communication. There's nothing between us yet, Party 1327, and I'd like to change that for the better. I mean, okay. Uh, a defensive pact? Fair deal for me. I'm sure they'll like it. Might as well, right? Like, why not? Fair vision. Bad deal for me. Fair deal for me. Oh, that was me proposing. Good deal for me. There we go. How about we do that? What if we do that? See if they say okay to that. And that is a proposal. Increase your diplomatic state with this player means they will be able to call you into war with other players should the need arise. That's the thing that worries me about the defensive pact. I don't want to be dragged into other wars. It's a defensive pact, though. How hard could it be, right? Well, makes me nervous. Makes me nervous. Well, they just become a vassal. Oh, you panic. Probably a bad idea. Let's, 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 nah, status quo. Status quo. When in doubt, status quo. Ellen Shaw... Um, I don't want to upset you, but I really, this is really not, how about that? Improving our diplomatic status is mutually beneficial. Let this pave the way to a brighter future. Nice. I guess this is assembling the assembly. Oh, hello. Givori Ardelli. Party 1337, you wretched thing. How dare you bring your filth to this world? Blah, 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 blah. Stay out of my way. I swear to God, I should just declare war on them. All right, uh, upgrade my hero. Excellent. Eliope the Crafter. Eliope the Crafter. Eliope. However it may be pronounced. Uh, let's see. Rapid movements. No. Infant. No. Let's see. I'm alive for longer. I do have some vehicles available. Like, I could put him on an Imperial Dragonfly if I give him piloting. Uh, I could buy him a chopper. I could buy him a Lightning Rider. If 
trying to figure out how exactly I want to kind of set him up. What I want to maybe change about his mod setup as well. Because right now, Mark of the Dark Sun is quite good, but Consuming Gaze might be better. Swap that out. Keep the uh, weapon trait over here. Do we keep the ocular implants? I think so. Give him a jetpack jump around. No, no. A little simple upgrade. Okay, and then the skill points. I think we should go ahead with maybe steady aim. And... Dead eye. Sure. Leaves a skill point remaining, but that's okay. Next time we can use it to, to help out. But this, I'm, I'm committing him to ranged if I do this. Do I want to swap him over to, to melee? Let's see. 10 arc damage output. This gives us 13 armor melt. We bypass shields. Possibly infect the enemy. The arc sword as well as an option. 12 damage output. I mean, there's some cool options out here. Could make him melee focused. With a with a pistol or a grenade or ooh. I see there's some interesting options over here. Um let's see. Let's go ahead and give ourselves the Inferno Launcher. Get ourselves I'm trying to like make this guy a bit of a boss. He's a crafter, right? Uh, and he's able to build melee units on the fly so it makes sense for him to want to get in close so he can bring units in but what's the supporting weapon we give him i think the inferno launcher might be a nice supporting weapon yeah sure sure why not let's have some fun with this let's go ahead and swap this out then give you the old jetpack instead so you can jump <laughs> jump into combat jump into melee right and then uh, we'll also swap out, we'll give him the shields afterwards as well. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. And we can rename the hero, by the way. Now, there were some name suggestions, actually. And this is, a, this is a good time to bring it up. Name suggestions. We've got RT1337. I've seen some suggestions, but let's get some officially provided in the comments down below. If you have a name, name first and last for both of our heroes, Theliop the Crafter and uh, the other one whose name I forget, drop them in the comments down below. Put name in the comment, though, just so it's easier for me to find, and we'll uh, implement it for next session, I suppose. Go ahead and, if I get it in time, obviously. Uh, let's go ahead and confirm the loadout. And since we're making you melee-focused, uh, I did waste range specialist one, which is unfortunate, uh, but hey, whatever, you pay the price. Uh, we'll give ourselves what? Uh, you know what? Stagger resistance is not a bad idea, because then we can pull our melee overwatch more consistently, and assimilate's a good idea as well, because that'll help keep us healthy, wealthy, and wise. Cool. So that's Theliope, Theliope, however that's pronounced, and you as well we can rename. IVR128 might need some renaming. Uh, 10 skill points, holy crap. Give you something over here as well, maybe an arc grenade, or can we do anything that... to have a variety of, uh, of, of damage types sometimes. What kind of mods do we have? Arc of the Dark Sun, probably not a bad idea. Structure Integrity Destabilizer, probably not a bad idea either. We'll get that modded out and let's go ahead and give you Dispersing Gas Bomb, why not? Confirm that. Good stuff. And your skill points. Now you're definitely a ranged specialist. Let's go ahead and do that. And let's get ourselves ooh, Void Bullets. Here's attack range. Heroes ranged attacks ignore 50% of the penalties from cover and units in the way. Yes, please. Uh, steady aim. Four points left over. Range specialist two. Uh, yeah, let's do that. That's all of our skill points. Okay, confirm that. Good stuff. And yes, we do need a maybe a new name for them as well. Okay, orders required for you. Let's go ahead and get you in a position to go into battle, I suppose. Orders required for you. Let's yeah, let's pull you down this way. Try and discover or explore this area a little bit. Rough terrain to travel through, but it's okay. Or it's required down over here. Um, sure. 
I guess I could send you exploring. You're not really a scout unit, but... What are we going to do? You're fine over here. We'll send you down over here to attack afterwards. Uh, Ellen declared war on Frank. No, god damn it. I need to declare war on them. So Ellen is probably like somewhere over here. So let's get ourselves up here as quickly as possible so we're not left in the dust over here. That would be quite unfortunate. Ooh. Uh, that would be quite unfortunate. We're right here. We should be able to move in uh, this army as well. Maybe we leave this be for now. We'll pull back around, teleport up, and uh, and, and dive on in. But end that turn. Okay. Orders required for you. You're fine. Go ahead and pull you back over to here. Get you into here. Might as well get the extra food or not not food the extra um experience in the next battle so that's fine uh sure let's, we'll use you to scout orders required over here you're fine orders required over here you moving i read that as mountain dew highlands and i was like seriously okay party town you're able to uh build something new so let's go ahead and get you doing what happiness here is okay Standard military infrastructure, perhaps. Prepare ourselves for war. It'll just take one turn as well, so that's not too bad. And that's the turn, I believe. Yep, gotta get into position. Alright. Get you... Oh, are you serious? Just short. Just short. Okay. Uh, orders required for you as well. Let's go ahead and pull you up to here. It's a lot faster. For yourself, let's pull you up this way. And for yourself, let's go ahead and pull you over. I don't want to press pass. Look like I have much option, though. Okay, we finish the uh, military infrastructure Production over here. Ready. Let's go ahead and give ourselves... Thinking about the defense turrets. Uh, again, just because if we do go to war, I want to be ready for the inevitable, right? Someone's going to hit us if we hit them. Ops ready, ops ready to launch. Okay. Mara completed the negotiator as a pioneer. Signed a friendship pact with the faction. Wow, well, good for you, la di da. I wasn't even chasing it. But what 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 am I chasing? Uh, t -t -t uh always yes, of course, it's the trophy. Good. Hmm. The diplomat is maintain a peaceful relationship for ten turns, almost four more turns. Okay. Uh, negotiator, uh, nope, don't care about that one. The invader, declare a war on an NPC faction till kill two armies, okay. Warmonger, enter a war with another player, kill six units belonging to another player, okay. That Those should be easy to do. And the builder, we, we've done already. The operator, use a covert operation, fair enough. Economist, build a sector specialization. That should be coming soon. Soon we'll be able to. All right, uh, I believe that's the turn, yeah. Getting ready for war. Oh, what's this? Martial law. Rioter killed in after party. Oh. Oh. Dark times over here, folks. Dark times. Um, Because you can either convert them to regular colonists or they die. And I guess uh, that one chose to die. Three turns until this is done. Uh, Nikhail Gorodin, what's up? Open borders. Perfect timing. I would like to propose a treaty. Let us open our borders towards each other. This would greatly improve our mobility. It would mean a lot to me if we could come to an agreement. Yeah, I'll accept that. Especially because I need it right now. Travel through this land. He has really spread his holdings quite a bit. Quite a bit. That's a little scary, actually. It's four cities. I just have the two. Mm. Can't help but feel like I'm falling behind. And this little... Uh, Mad Max inspired fellow Cullen Jawbreak Scott wants to join you. I don't have to accept them. An arc projector. Do we want to get another army coming out? Haywire Demon. Oh, I see. I see. I see. Disrupting hack. Arc resistance. I mean, it could. It could be. It could be interesting. Right, we could use another army. Sure, let's go ahead and, and recruit them. We've got plenty of money. Actually, we're not making that much anymore. Request another hero. Maybe someone cooler will come by. Can't just 
take everything that comes your way. Gotta be picky. Okay, let's hop on over this way. Ooh, another little thing to pick up over here. They do have an army up there. You, go ahead and teleport. We're able to move in if we wanted to. We are able to move in if we wanted to. Let's go ahead and push up this way. I wanted to scout a little bit. I can scout by stepping into their territory. Obviously, that is an option. Once I get this, I should be able to expand and get all these to touch, okay? I mean, once the population goes up. But yeah, we should be able to get you down to here. Next turn, we should be able to get up to, like, this area. I want to be able to declare war and dive in right away. Two-pronged attack. Get that city immediately, basically. Okay, you're done there. We're all good. We're all good. That end turn. Message from the Autonom faction. What do you want? Ah, Ghost in the Machine. Another one of these. Okay, fair enough. Uh, I could accept it. Decent rewards. Ten turns to do it. Well, let's see. It's right here. Ooh. The small pitiful army you got there, Frank. Um, but yeah, it's 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 right here. We're right here. Ten turns is probably enough to go deal with this. Come back. Right. I think we'd be fine. I think we'd be fine. I think we can accept that. For sure. Let's go ahead and accept it. And what's this? So we've got the arc coil defense turrets done. Production ready. Go ahead and swap that out for what? Get more powerful units in here. Not necessary. Start recruiting a new army. Or we could get another colonizer. Move it up this way to... Uh, to get this under our control, I suppose. Yeah, let's get another colonizer going. I feel like we've fallen behind a little bit there. Frank Vance sent a message. Oh, is it a message declaring war? Incoming communication. Party the 1337. We may not see eye to eye right now, but it is in our best interest to improve our diplomatic state soon so that we may grow closer. Oh, we're going to grow closer, all right. I can guarantee you that. What does Shea Mara say? Uh, sorry, what? I have a trade offer for you to evaluate. Let's forget about mistakes from the past. A little bit of tribute may go a long way on the road to forgiveness. They're going to give me energy. But they want me to not be able to declare war on them anymore. Well, it's a syndicate. I love that they're groveling. Love a good groveling. Can never get can 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 never get past a good groveling. Um Yeah, they're all, yeah, I mean I I guess I don't intend on declaring war on them anytime too soon. So I could accept this. Makes me the bigger robot man. Okay, orders required over here. Go ahead and move you over a little bit. And I'm worried they have a third settlement somewhere over here. You know what? Let's go ahead and talk to our good friends, Ellen Shaw. Let us speak of... Um... I can't really see anything of what they have. Fair enough. I, and I don't want to get into like a defensive pact or anything. Fine with just a non-aggression pact. Defensive pact is pushing it a little too far. Because they're already in war. I don't want to get embroiled in something that's not, uh, you know, to my specifications. So, okay, over here we can push you up. There is a bit of a garrison over here. Oh. Under, it's, a, it's, a, it's an exaggeration. Uh, so that's nothing. So I could actually split these guys up now. Of course, there will be a militia in in this settlement, but it, it'll be much of one, should be easy enough to take, and it looks like there is a gap over here, next city I imagine is over there, and maybe that's all they have, okay fair enough, what is required over here, move you over, do we stay here, if we stay here we can eliminate this army and then pull back to solve or 
end this quest, I suppose. Right? Um, and then over here, Buddy needs to move on over towards this. So, yep, yeah, let's head on down. Oh, soon enough. Soon enough. Uh, Alright, three turns until this is done, eight turns until this is done. I wouldn't... Hmm. I would have loved to have the shields done before we went to this war, but you know what? I can't wait that long. I think we need to dive on in. I think we need to dive on in. And let's see. What are our options here in terms of going to war with Frank Vance? I can just... Ooh, I have no cast a spelly. Oh, to warn them with... Right, right, right. Sorry. Frank Vance. I do have a minor cast of spelly. Hmm. My popular support will increase. Of course, our relations will decrease. I mean, seems like a good call. I think it's time for war. Yeah, I, I think it's time for war. Next session. We've hit that hour mark. This is where we're going to call it, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you enjoyed this session. If you did, you know what to do. Leave a like and a comment down below. Let me know that you would like to see more of the assembly in action in Age of Wonders Planetfall on this channel. As always, a massive thanks goes out to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting the channel on a monthly basis. You keep us alive and running smoothly. And a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time, cheers.